Hi, I'm Dr. Rayner. Today I'm going to be talking about using the B-Flex single-use bronchoscope to perform suctioning of a patient's airways. The techniques shown in this video are mine. Please consult the operations and maintenance manual before using this product. Suctioning can be performed after bronchoalveolar lavage or to remove blood or secretions from a patient's airways. And suctioning can be performed either in the ICU, operating room, emergency department, or bronchoscopy suite. Moving over to choose our bronchoscope, we can see that the B-Flex has three different bronchoscopes to choose from, which are color-coded according to the diameter of the insertion tube. The B-Flex 3.8, 5.0, and 5.8. Today, I'll be using the largest, the B-Flex 5.8, which has the most powerful suction. Note that the packaging tells us that this requires at least a 7.0 millimeter endotracheal tube or larger to accommodate the diameter of the insertion tube. Removing the bronchoscope from its packaging, I next remove the plastic insertion tube cover and the plastic cover for the handle. I'm now ready to hook suction tubing up to the suction port of my bronchoscope. I'm now ready to connect my bronchoscope to the monitor using the quick connect cable with its magnetic mechanism, like so. And I'm now ready to perform my procedure. As I insert the bronchoscope through the endotracheal tube, I make sure that I'm keeping the insertion tube straight to avoid kinking at the handle. I'm going to be performing suctioning in the patient's right lower lobe, like shown, making sure to keep my finger firmly over the suction button. Note that to avoid airway collapse, I can use partial suctioning technique. For tenacious secretions, I'll sometimes inject a little bit of fluid, which can be done through the accessory port. Note that when suctioning, I want to make sure that nothing is in the accessory port while actually suctioning. Once I've completed suctioning, I then remove the bronchoscope from the patient and the procedure is complete. 